So, uh, and the amazing thing about these things, did I tell you guys they're only $110? Hey, it's Mike with Riding in the Ozarks, and I'm pretty excited today. I got something in the mail that I've been wanting for a long time. Uh, when I bought this bike five years ago, I really liked the looks of the CVO Street Glides with the lower fairings. You know, put a razor pack on it. I thought that was a really cool look, and I kind of always wanted to do that, but it didn't always make sense, and I had a payment. You know, I've done some upgrades on the bike. We did the custom airbrush, we did bars, we did exhaust and stage one tune. We did a fancy stereo system for the bat wing and stuff, but I kind of wanted to go to that next level now that the bike's paid off and I've got a little money to put into the bike. I, I just got suspension for the bike and stuff, so I'm putting vivid black lowers on it. And I got them with speaker pods. So let's get those installed and we'll talk about what's coming in the future for my Street Glide. These lower fairings did not come with instructions, but it was pretty obvious that the first step was going to be to remove the speaker grills. Inside the speaker pod area, you will find a bolt that you will need to remove that will free the cap from the body of the lower fairing. When you remove the cap, be careful to not lose the retaining nut clip for that bolt. After removing the cap, you will find a bracket that is used to hold the lower fairing to the top of the crash bars. You will need to remove that bracket and position the lower fairing on the crash bar, then reinstall the bracket. Quick tip, I would suggest a little blue Loctite to ensure these nuts do not loosen up accidentally at some point in the future after you have the lower fairing mounted and positioned the way you want them. After positioning the lower fairing on the crash guard, I tighten the bracket up finger tight to hold it in place before putting the lower mount on the fairing. The lower bracket was a little tougher to position, but not terrible. I chose to put the bolt head to the outside and the threads of the bolts to the inside to help protect them from weather, road grime, and debris. But there's no reason it can't be mounted either way. And I've seen it done with the bolt thread sticking down to the outside on other installations. Next, make sure you have the retaining nut clip inserted into the cap and position it over the crash bar and reinstall the bolt to the retaining clip in the cap from the speaker pod opening. Be careful to not over tighten this as the retaining nut clip is only secured to the plastic fairing. If you over tighten it, you will crack or break the plastic. This model is vented, so that allows you to get more airflow when it's hot, or you can close the vent to get additional protection from the colder rain when needed. All right guys, well these are installed and I think they look great. I haven't got any speakers in them yet. That's coming down the road, that'll be another video. But I got big plans for that. But a big shout out to TCMT Moto. I'll be testing these out. The vents seem like they slide open and close pretty easily. Uh, not that I'll be changing them a lot, especially while I'm going down the road. But if I need to, I can. Anyway, they look great. I think they're gonna work great. I'm really excited about them. I'm gonna ride them for a few weeks before I finish this video and let you know what I think after a couple weeks on them. Alright guys, well I've had these lowers on the bike for about two weeks now. I put over a thousand miles on them. Gotta adjust my glasses here. We just got done cleaning the bikes and stuff, but I have had no problems. Nothing's worked loose. Everything has stayed tight. The vents work. Um, they're brand new, so I think they're a little stiff, but they seem to be getting easier to open and close the more I do it. Uh, I really haven't had to do it a lot, but 
when we were coming back and it was 46 degrees in the morning when we left, I wanted the vents closed. By the time it got up to 80, I wanted them open and I could definitely tell a difference. So having those vents works, that helps. Allows you to stay warm when you need to, cool off when you want to. So, uh, and the amazing thing about these things, did I tell you guys, they're only $110. Yeah, you heard me, that's, that's for a pair, yep. $110 for a pair, not for just one, for a pair. I know, I about fell out of my chair too. I'll leave a link to them in the description down below where you guys can check them out if you're interested in a set of lowers like this. Now, I think the design is a little different than some of the others. I can't tell that these are interchangeable where you could take the speaker pods out and put dash doors in to have little glove compartments and stuff, but that's okay because I ordered these with the speaker pods intended to be in them and that's what i got because that's what i wanted them for and but i think they have them with other options where you can get them with the little dash doors in them and stuff like that on their website so make sure you check out their website check out the link below if you guys like this video you know what to do give it a big thumbs up if you dig this content subscribe to the channel ring that bell to be notified the next time i drop a new video thank you for your support and as always stay safe and keep on riding we'll see you in the next one